This video is sponsored by EV, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform. Hey everyone, you with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. This morning we're talking software update 2021.32.20.1 in our 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance here in Sydney, Australia. Let's have a look at the release notes. Uh, now, most of these updates are from the 32.10 release. I've already done a video on that, so make sure you check that out. But essentially today, we're just gonna do an autopilot test to make sure there are no bugs and to see if there's any new improvements for this update 2021.32.20.1. Let's have a look now at the autopilot settings. So we've got auto steer beta, which is included with all new Tesla Model 3s. We're gonna try out navigate on autopilot today. And the settings I've got it on is enable at the start of every trip, Mad Max mode, so the car can decide what lanes to use, exit passing lane, yes, no lane change confirmation, and both vibrate and chime for lane change notifications. Traffic light and stop sign control beta, green traffic light chime, full self-driving visualization preview, and Summon Beta is on as well. You know, every day I get asked questions about owning a Tesla Model 3. Questions like, do you get used to driving without an instrument cluster in front of your steering wheel? How do you charge your car at night? And how far can you drive your Tesla? Well, now with ev.com.au, Australia's very own Tesla and electric vehicle sharing platform, you don't have to wonder. You can hire a Tesla for yourself to answer those questions. Because now with ev.com.au, you can actually rent a Tesla from other owners to try before you buy beyond a short test drive. You can take it out for a weekend for a road trip, or you can surprise that special someone who's always talking about Teslas and electric vehicles. You know exactly what I mean. So check out ev.com.au forward slash Tesla Tom and use my coupon code Tesla Tom to get $30 off your very first rental. With an ever-growing fleet of Teslas and electric vehicles to choose from, there's sure to be an EV car to rent near you. And now, for the rest of the video. Welcome back everyone, and this morning on our drive, we are heading northwest on the uh, Lane Cove Tunnel and also on the M2. So we should have a nice bit of highway for you guys to check out Autopilot. We are going to use uh, Navigate on Autopilot today, so a little bit of autonomous driving for us. Now, I am on the road today for a legitimate reason. I am actually heading to work as an essential worker here in Sydney, as in accordance with uh, public health order restrictions. Just so happens that there was a software update this morning. How convenient. Okay, so entering the M2. So uh, in this area, we should I'll just take the cameras off for one second to show you. So we've got this Navigate on Autopilot uh, at the moment. Uh, I'm not sure whether they allow it still in tunnels. Uh, I haven't done a tunnel in a while on Navigate, so let's have a look. If you've got that blue bar, if you've got the FSD package, by the way, which we've got, uh, then you can use Navigate on Autopilot. So let's engage Autopilot now. We've got the uh, steering wheel symbol. As soon as we see that, we can engage it. There it is there. Double tap on the right stalk. No, oh, okay. The... It sort of flicks in and out, so we might just wait until we get a good line. There we go, a good um, steering wheel symbol there. It's on cruise control currently. So let's merge to the right. Okay, once we get the clear tra um, steering wheel sign, there we go, that grey steering wheel sign. No, nope, it's sort of flicking in and out. It does happen occasionally. There we go, okay. So once you've got that clear grey steering wheel sign, then we're good to go. Now, posted speed sign is 60 for some reason. It is 80, I know, for, for a fact in this tunnel, so I'm happy to go at 80. Uh, there are speed cameras here, so I don't want to go over 80. Um, now, we've got illuminated speed signs up on the roof there of the tunnel, which the car still doesn't pick up, so that's still an issue, uh, unfortunately, at this stage. Let's uh, change lanes to the right, so... Uh, there we go, just to flick up or down, depending which way you want to go. And uh, it's no confirmation, but you've still got to just wiggle the wheel just to touch before it changes to let the car know that uh, you're still there. So blue tram tracks means uh, basic auto steer autopilot, which is included with all uh, Tesla Model 3s now currently, by the way. Uh, no lane change for the basic. You need to buy the FSD package for uh, the full lane change, auto lane change feature, which I'll go back into the middle lane now. Here we go. It's pretty smooth on a nice road like the Lane Cove Tunnel, nice and stable. 
it's uh, nice that the lane markings aren't picked up on the roof there by the car's traffic lights otherwise it'd be pretty annoying having to confirm each quote unquote traffic light but uh, pretty good I haven't been in this tunnel for a while uh, just with our current uh, public health restrictions but um, nice to get an opportunity to use it today to show you guys autopilot and as soon as we exit the tunnel into daylight we should be able to use navigate on autopilot which is a single blue line which you only get with FSD package by the way and as I said earlier we're on Mad Max mode which means that the car will tend to make a decision for you as to which way which lane to use to get you there the fastest there we go there's that red uh, sorry the blue line and uh, let's see what happens here with the fork in the road we need to be in the right lane for the M2 motorway let's see what the car does it should just bear right by itself it certainly does it's good didn't have to uh, intervene there no brake in autopilot got some roadworks now let's see what happens does the car slow down no it doesn't doesn't pick up the illuminated speed sign so we might actually just roll down ourselves so that way we don't get in trouble it does say 40 there we go don't want to get in trouble there by the letter of the law okay so once you pass the roadworks you can just do a, a right half tap on the right steering wheel a uh, right uh, indicator stalk and then you're good to go to back to 100 or this posted speed sign there's an ad for the Kona electric up there with uh, linked motorways I think if you're fully vaccinated then you've got a chance to win that electric car which I actually haven't by the way um, all right so we are back to 100 kilometers an hour on the m2 motorway what I'm really curious about is to whether this car actually exits uh, automatically for me with navigate on autopilot uh, on Mad Max mode this truck next to me is going too quick I'm going at 100 9900 and it's overtaking me so happens happens on our roads here unfortunately people are in a hurry okay so now it's going 100 mm. it's always a fun test driving right next to a big semi like this this is where I hang on to the wheel all right so gosh it's tight so it wants me to change lanes yep that's good look at that changing lanes to follow route that's a new sign. I haven't seen that before does it take the exit for me let's have a look does it try to overtake this truck I wouldn't have thought so we're pretty close to the exit already so here we go let's see what happens does it exit the motorway cleanly or navigate on autopilot <coughs> here we are there's the exit there hey that was pretty good Ooh, a little bit shifty jerked a little bit out but uh, yeah not bad actually and the navigate on autopilot is uh, limited there done okay and then it shifts down to 50 even wants to uh, exit on the right lane look at that not bad not bad and here this is where I disengage autopilot because autopilot cannot turn at this stage with this software update I don't have FSD beta in Australia no one does I believe uh, but there we go guys that is a uh, software update 2021.32.20.1 uh, another long number there but uh, testing autopilot uh, no bugs that I can see in fact possibly some minor improvements compared to the last time I drove on such a long road like that so uh, yeah let me know if you guys have noticed any improvements or any uh, bugs for that matter for this update if you've got a Tesla in Australia or even anywhere in the world for that matter uh, with 2021.32.20.1 uh, otherwise, uh, have yourself a great day. I certainly will here in Sydney. It's a glorious sunny day, blue sky. And until the next video, happy charging.